Hi, this is Jim, LabVIEW Mentor in Portland, Oregon. There's a new feature in uh, this season's robot projects and and dashboard projects <clears throat> that's extreme, extremely useful and intriguing, and I want to just touch on them real briefly. It turns out, so right here I have two project managers, one for a, a dashboard project, one for a robot project. I'm going to go in and look at the dashboard project first. And you'll see this is the same one that I used for my video display where we put the filtering in the video chain. The thing I'm talking about, the feature I'm talking about, is this little <coughs> icon here, which represents a selection in a pull-down box. And so if I right-click on it and say Find, it shows me where it shows up on the uh, block diagram, which is right here, Select Auto. If I go in and right-click this and look at Properties, you'll see I have the ability to edit items. In a basic project, it just has Alternative 1 and 2. I've put in alter Alternative 3. This is going to allow me to choose between these alternatives during Autonomous and uh, at, to be able to do it during Setup. So I've saved that change built this project um, for the dashboard and now I'm going to use that when I use my um, driver station. Now I'm going to go back into the autonomous for the robot project. In this case under autonomous I have three different alternatives. The, the NT string or network table read string that's connected to the auto selector, which is what we were controlling on the dashboard, controls the state of these cases. And by default, there's built into the default, there's a blank one that's default in autonomous in our standard project. So there's an alternative one, alternative two, and then they have it's your turn as the label here. I've changed that to alternative three. Uh, the notes indicate that this frame will be made if no execute. This uh, frame will be executed if no selection is made. I've copied one of my other frames and put it in here, but I not clear that I ever get there. So alternative one, I have a autonomous control. In this case, it goes in and does a right turn. Alternative two, we go in and do a left turn, and alternative three. We just go in and uh, go forward and then back. Okay, so what I want to do is show how to control these three once I get into the simulator. I would encourage anyone that hasn't worked with a dashboard, a custom dashboard before, to uh, look at some of the other YouTube videos on the channel. For starters, you'll see how we hook up the gyro and then how we do the video filter. Likewise, as far as the simulator, I'm using in this robot project the switch that I describe that allows us to switch between uh, drive station controls, driver controls, and autonomous controls even during um, a match. So it automatically selects between autonomous and uh, teleop. Okay, so what we're going to do here is start. We've started our driver station. Nothing is selected, and we're going to go in and select alternative one, which included a turn. We're going to enable, and we watch the robot go forward and execute a right turn. All right, we're going to restart the robot project. This time, we're going to go to alternative two, which we expect to do a left turn. So let's. Get set up for that. You'll notice I'll keep the uh, the gyro on top this time, and you'll see not only the turn, but the fact that the gyro is going to move. Very nice. Now this third run, we're going to do alternative three. And uh, then we're going to play with it a little bit with the video on so you can see how the video works during autonomous. Uh, 
my thanks to Susan in New Jersey for helping me discover this. And uh, good luck to you this season. So we're going to enable this with alternative three. It should just go forward and back. Let's go ahead and turn the camera on. And then let's execute one of the other alternatives to see if it'll uh, pick up on one of the targets. On alternative two, try this again. All right, there's a video picking up on the target that's in the viewfinder. Okay, any questions, let me know. Pretty much straightforward, and good luck this season.